He really hasn't finished the job either. Pretty sloppy work if you ask me. Yep, you have to keep a sharp eye when you're sheriff. You never know what might... Wow, look at that. Under that tree I was just talking about. I haven't seen one of those guys in years. <laughs> chicken in here with our goats. It's my least favorite chicken. So I'm not worried if it escapes or gets eaten by a hawk or something. This chicken always pecks me whenever I'm trying to get eggs out of the nest box. It'll be curious to see if the chicken finds enough bugs and things to eat out here, if it stays put inside the pen, how it gets along with the goats. What do you think? What do you think about your new neighbor? Maybe the chicken misses its friends. <laughs> Buddy made another discovery in the forest while shooting his troll on patrol video. This is part three, and I think we've saved the best for last. If you want to see the first two parts, they're titled, Brian Doesn't Want You to See This, and Is Shenanigan a Junkie? Sheriff Buddy here, continuing my patrol. This tree is one that Brian started clearing of ivy not too long ago. Why did he pick this one instead of one of the hundreds of others out here? You'd have to ask him. He really hasn't finished the job either. Pretty sloppy work if you ask me. Mostly I'm trying to keep the walking trails clear and slowly I'm trying to eradicate the blackberries that have established a number of beachheads in the forest. Occasionally, I'll pick a tree to unstrangle from the ivy. 
Why that tree? I can't really say. It just seemed like the next one that I should work on. Those ivy vines came out of the ground and away from the trunk all right. They're just really stuck tight, high up in the tree. It may take a while, but eventually the vines will become brittle enough for them to break away with a strong tug. I've got an older video titled Forest Work Summer of 2020. I'll put in a few clips from that so you can see how I work out there. I wanted to talk a little bit about what I've been doing in the forest behind our house. Largely, I'm fighting the invasive species. Blackberry bushes are my number one enemy. As you can see around here, I've taken a nice big chunk of the blackberries out, but there's an awful lot more to go. I'm just pacing myself and just slowly plugging away at it. And uh, slowly, it's making a difference. Ivy, of course, is very invasive, but it's so abundant out here in the forest that I really have to kind of pick my battles. I just basically want to take out enough so that there's physical access into spaces that I feel are almost enchanted back here. large strand of ivy that earlier in the year I uprooted from the base of the tree and was able to peel back quite a bit but the top was stubborn enough to hang on and I'm hoping that the top has loosened a bit or died back a little so that I'll be able to bring this thing down we'll see how it goes Still hanging in there. I'll have to try it again, maybe sometime next year. Remember this chicken? It got out 
I walked around just because I was curious to see where she might have gone. She was hanging out down in the forest, not too far. I'm gonna put her back in the pen and show her a place where she can have a, a nice little mini nest box. Maybe she'll get used to it and decide to use that as a place to roost at night. This side is closed to the goats, so hopefully they won't be disturbed. This might be interesting. Well, let's go out there and see if that dead vine from two years ago is still there, and if it is, if it's ready to come out of the tree. After two years, can we really say patience is a virtue? We're about to find out in a moment. It is very satisfying to have a long vine of ivy come right down out of the tree like that. This chicken just doesn't prefer the company of our goats. She gets out and wanders around the outside. The whole idea for having a chicken in with our goats was to see if the chickens would help with the bug population in there. Since the chicken doesn't want to stay in there, and I don't really want this chicken to be eaten by a coyote or a raccoon, I think I'll probably just put her back in with the rest of the chickens. Okay, chicken. Say goodbye to your goat friends. Bye. Yep, 
You have to keep a sharp eye when you're sheriff. You never know what might... Wow, look at that. Under that tree that I was just talking about. I haven't seen one of those guys in years. Dagnabbit of all the times for the battery to run out. He's gone now, of course. I'll probably never get another chance to show you an honest to goodness elf. Like I said, I haven't seen one in years. Elves are not shy. They just prefer to keep to themselves and their elvish realms. If you ask me, the whole lot of them are a bit snobbish. Sure, they might talk to our troll king if and when the need arose, but they wouldn't give a guy like me the time of day. I should probably just call it a day and head back to the Troll Mound compound. Shenanigan. Do you know anything about the elves out here? There is an elf portal under this tree, but it hadn't been used in years. I don't know if the invasive species sap the energy and stop their portals from working, or if they just stopped using the portals because they led to a place that was too overrun with invasive species. Either way, I'd say you've piqued the curiosity of the elves by removing enough of that ivy. Is it a good thing or a bad thing to draw the attention of elves? Seeing them around is traditionally a sign of good fortune. I think that's probably because when they do hang around, they tend to be drawn to people who cause good things to happen in the world. As a general rule, elves don't hang around humans anymore. Being a human who not only just unclogged their portal, but one who's on friendly terms with the fairy and trolls, probably put you on their watch list, Brian. That's cool, but what are elves like? Well, in general, you know how fairies are daydreamy and mystical and trolls tend to be more practical. Elves are elegant, but also judgmental. I don't know what source replenishes their magic, but I don't think it exists here anymore, away from their realms. The only elves I've seen have been a little too pale and a little sad looking. It must be hard being in a place without any restoring magic. I hope you're wrong about that shenanigan. Where there's love and wonder, there is hope of magic. That sounds like a good note to end the video on. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment.